myself Dr. Rashmi Tyagi. I have done my doctorate from IIT Roorkee in chemistry. Students, today we are going to take up a very interesting chapter that is the structure of atom. The present day knowledge about an atom is not achieved in a day. It took centuries to know about the structure of atom. And I tell you it is like a story only. Many scientists have contributed to the discovery of the different aspect of atomic structure and certain things which we are going to study today are some important terms like atomic number, isotopes, atomic mass number which is also known as atomic weight and then all of you know the particles present inside an atom like electron, proton, neutrons and the nucleus, then the distribution of electrons with the 2n square rule, the octet rule, the definitions of you know isotopes of hydrogen, carbon, chlorine and example I mean the example of isotopes of hydrogen, carbon and chlorine and then we will come to electrovalent and covalent bonding and then structure of various compounds and atomic orbit structure and uh, all these things you know. So, this is what we are going to do. Let us start you know the story of an atom. So, the concept of atom as all of you know it originated from the ancient time. First were the Democritus, an ancient Greek philosopher who studied the basic constituents of all substances. Then John Dalton in 1808 proposed a theory of atom known as Dalton's theory of atom. Of course, it has undergone modifications, but still because of Dalton the atom was proposed in the present manner. His contribution was great. Therefore, let us see what are the postulates of Dal Dalton. So, Dalton said that matter consists of some indivisible particles called atoms. They can neither be created nor destroyed. The atoms of the same elements are alike in every aspect and differ from other elements atoms. Atoms combine with other atoms in simple whole number ratios forming compounds, atoms or molecules and Dalton said that atom is the smallest unit of matter which take part in the chemical reaction. Now after you know these scientists the modern atomic theory was propounded and we can have a look what is the difference between the two and uh, of course, there is a difference. The first difference is that atoms are indivisible and indestructible, but as per the modern atomic theory atoms are divisible and destructible. Now, as per the Dalton's theory the atom is the smallest indivisible particle of an element. 
but as per the present modern atomic theory atom consists of subatomic particles electrons protons and neutrons atoms of the same elements are alike in all respect and differ from atoms of other elements while the atoms of the same element may not be alike in all respect as in case of isotopes that they are the atoms of the same element but having different atomic numbers or mass number as per being isotope or isobar so in modern atomic theory however there is a correlation with dalton's atomic theory so we arrive at a common thing which is that the atoms are the smallest unit of matter which takes part in chemical reaction and in a given compound the relative number and kind of atoms is a constant